following question reads that an experiment in cm cube of an organic compound J and you're given three options they could be J it's a compound that contains carbon hydrogen and nitrogen but in different uh, amounts uh, so we need to figure out which of these compounds what could be the identity of J so you're given that in the gaseous state was parked with an excess of oxygen 20 cm cube of carbon dioxide and 5 cm cube of nitrogen were obtained among the pro uh, products, all gas volumes are measured at the same temperature and pressure. What could be the identity of J? So, I'm going to pick the first compound and make an equation. So, I have uh, C286N2. Uh, and the question states uh, that it was parked with an excess of oxygen. So, so it is uh, it is reacting with O2. So, that's uh, plus O2. I don't know what quantity of O2 it's reacting with. Uh, but then it produces carbon dioxide, which is CO2, and it produces, uh, the question states that it produces nitrogen as well. So N2 as well is produced. Uh, plus, there's going to be one other compound, uh, probably water, but they haven't really mentioned anywhere where the water is being produced. But since there is hydrogen over here, so there must be some hydrogen uh, compound that would be produced. It could be H2O, it could be something else. I'm not sure, but there has to be something else that is going to be produced that's going to take care of the hydrogen that is present over here if i try to balance this incomplete uh, equation all the, i can now remember i can balance some of the parts of this equation the two carbons over here so there should be two carbon dioxide molecules uh there are two nitrogens over here so there should be one n2 molecule over here uh, i cannot really figure out what uh, amount of o2 would be present because i don't know what is this x over here that contains hydrogen so so i have been able to balance some of the parts which are that one molecule is going to produce two carbon dioxide molecules and one N2 molecule. Now, if you look at the question now, it says that 10 cm cube of an organic compound. So, if one is the option, 10 cm cube of an organic compound is sparked with an excess of oxygen produced 20 cm cube of carbon dioxide and 5 cm cube of nitrogen. So, it's going to be 20 cm cube of carbon dioxide and 5 cm cube of nitrogen gas now remember one thing that uh, for gases mole ratio and volume ratio is going to be exactly the same so the mole ratio uh, according to our incompletely balanced equation the mole ratio comes out to be 2 ratio 1 so if it's coming out to be 2 ratio 1 uh, then the volume ratio must be 2 ratio 1 as well which is not the case because if 20 cm cube of carbon dioxide is being produced then 10 cm cube of uh, nitrogen should be produced so this is not the case so uh, this information does not fit compound number one, which has to be incorrect because the information does not fit the mole ratio that we uh, figured out in the equation. So the ratio, one ratio, two ratio, one is not coming out in the volumes that's given over here. 10 cm cube would produce 20 cm cube, but not 5 cm cube according to this ratio. It sh this should be 10 cm cube as well. So I'm going to cut out option one. And remember, if option one is incorrect, then by default, uh, the other two options are going to be correct. So the by default, the option should be C. But we're going to now check whether the other two compounds, whether this information fits with the other two compounds. Now I'm going to redo everything now for part two now, which I already know it's going to be correct uh, because the only options available, two, three have to be correct. So I have c 2 h 3 and this is compound J. And I'm combusting it with oxygen again, and it produces carbon dioxide and N2 and some other compound X, which I'm not sure. And if you look over here, I've balanced the equation as well. So there are two carbons over here. There should be two carbon dioxides at the other end. They are, there's only one nitrogen over here, so there should be half N2. Now, if you look at the ratio, the ratio of the, of the molecules in the incomplete uh, equation are that one molecule is going to produce two carbon dioxide molecules and it's going to produce half N2 molecules. So that's uh, 0 0.5 half N2 molecules. So this is the mole ratio. And the volume ratio is also exactly the same given in the equation. 10 cm cube uh, reacts with, uh, produces 20 cm cube of carbon dioxide, 5 cm cube of nitrogen. So let's see if the, if the ratio is the same. It's 10 cm cube producing 20 cm cube of CO2 and 5 cm cube of uh, N2. Now the ratio fits perfectly with our equation, the way we balance the equation. So one molecule reacts with two, produces 0 0.5, 10 cm cube, produces 20 cm cube, and f produces 5 cm cube of N2. So option number two is definitely correct. It fits, the information fits our equation. Now similarly, let's uh, try and figure out uh, three as well. Three is also going to be correct. Uh, uh, but we're going to do all the working now.
So again, I've constructed the equation with C287N, uh, reacts with oxygen, produces carbon dioxide, N2, and some other compound. Uh, balance this equation, two carbons over here, so two carbon dioxide molecules, one N over here, so that's half N2. And you can figure out that one molecule, we don't know how many oxygens it's going to react with, but it's going to produce two carbon dioxide molecules and 0.5 N2 molecules. And some compound X we are not sure. So the ratio of the, the mole ratio is, uh, you figured out the mole ratio, it's one ratio, two ratio, 0.5, exactly the same as option number two. Uh, so 10 cm cube of this compound, according to this ratio, is going to react with 20 cm cube of uh, CO2. It's going to produce 5 cm cube of N2. So the information that's given in the question also matches uh, matches option 3. The equation that we made with option 3, 1 ratio, 2 ratio, 0 0.5. Uh, the volume ratio is exactly the same. So this option number 3 is also correct.